Welcome everyone to Supermarket Simulator. And this is a bit different than what you're used to. This isn't the usual political games that I usually play. But I needed a little bit of a change of scenery. So, let's get started. Let's go on our computer, and the first thing we're going to do is take out a loan. Now, we could probably get a third shelf here. So let's shift everything over. Let's go to market and furniture. We're going to buy one shelf. And let's go to our products. So the downside to this is you can only order 10 items at a time. those things there. Need four of those, probably three. So, actually, the other thing I want to do is move this around. So we have a lot of boxes here. All right, so this large box is our shelf. All right, not as close as I'd like it to be, but that should be okay for now. Alright, so sugar. Let's just place that there. Um, I want to try to figure out what I... Alright, so I'll have bread in that section. All right, so here's what I'll do. Um, pasta. I'll place right here. Alright, so the sugar I'll put right next to the cereal. Or actually, no, I shouldn't do that. Um. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. I can. Can always change it around later on. Thank you. 
So this game um, seems a little bit sim similar to uh, King of Retail. And even that game uh, coming out with a part two to that. So that's in the works. But there is also a game that I have in my uh, watch list for Steam. It's called Supermarket Manager. Um, thought that was supposed to come out maybe like a year ago. Um, still nothing at this point. Okay, so we have cooking oil. Put that on the last. So there's one thing about this that I don't like. And that's once you so once you hit a thousand dollars you can purchase storage. But the storage is down here. It doesn't make sense. Most of your stores have their storage somewhere within the same area pretty much. It's usually some kind of stock room. Alright, so our cooking oil is fully stocked. Let's do our cereal. Bread. So we're going to try to expand the store as rapidly as possible. Flour. So I think I might be a little short on flour. Short on flour and probably need one more case of sugar, pasta. Alright, so flour, pasta, sugar, and two cases of cereal. So that's what we're going to order. Alright, so one case of pasta, two cereal, one sugar, and one flower. Alright, so now we'll be fully stopped. And this game is still in development. So this is early access. So I believe I read that they're going to 
allow you to sell furniture and a few other items. We're also going to add a, uh, going to be able to hire security and they're going to have shoplifters. So that should be interesting. Alright, so before we open, let's go to price. Right, marker price is five ninety-eight. So you have to do this with every new item that you add to your store and then once you do that, you only have to do it once. Alright, that's 312, but we'll add an extra 3 cents. And it's 450. Alright, so we have our price. Um, every now and then, you'll get a markup or a markdown on different items. And I believe in the future, you'll be able to put things on sale too. Alright, so let's go ahead and open. Let's turn our light on. Hand with cash. So our goal is to have 25 customers for the day. Once our store builds up this reputation, we're going to get more sales per um, transaction. So I'm just going to keep taking out loans. We can also expand this store. Which is very costly. Uh, and in order to get more items more different items you need to purchase a license that too is costly let's go to management C have different licenses um, Let's go to our customer. All right, thirteen seventy. And I forgot what level I have to be on in order to um, hire our first employee. Perfect. 
Alright, so we're almost halfway to our goal. Alright, 598. I think they should make the credit card transaction a little smoother. It's usually on the cash register, all you have to do is... Um, once you get to the point where they pay... Some stores, you don't even have to do anything. They just hit credit and swipe their card. They're here, they're forcing you to punch in the amount. Love it when they have exact change, too. So I'm going to have to buy some more lights, too. All right, four cents. Eleven ninety six. And the sound of the vehicles is a is annoying. I hope they add something so you can turn that down because at this point I can't turn it down. Uh, exact change that's perfect so as you can see it's starting to get a little dimmer in here so that's why I want to purchase another light Probably two lights. I need one there and one here. That should brighten up everything. Seven ninety eight. Actually, I could do that now. Let's go to market, furniture, two lights. So you can order anything as long as the uh, store is still open. So I ordered just in time. So that's outside at the moment. So I'm just one short. Yeah, one customer short of uh, our goal. All right, 
nice. That made everything a little brighter. Doesn't seem like much of a difference. Alright, so let's finish the day. Alright, so the next thing we need to do for day two. Uh let's see. So I could probably use one box of bread, one of cereal, one of sugar, uh, and yeah, that's about it. That's all we'll order. Let's go to products. It's one bread. One cereal and one sugar I'll go ahead and do pasta so let's replenish Alright, so we have a little bit of overstock. Let's close that up. Alright, so we have powdered sugar. Alright, overstock of that as well. We'll close this up and place it right next to... Alright, cereal... Alright, so that was perfect. No overstock. Probably have overstock on this too. Yep. I have two left. So that's not bad at all. Let's go ahead and open up. Um, let's... Make our loan payment. Let's go to management, pay our bills. Uh, nothing so far. So the next two things I'll probably get is um, probably two to three coolers and purchase the license for milk, eggs, and cheese, I believe. Okay, our next objective is to purchase another license. One dollar, that's simple enough.
Oh, I forgot to turn the lights on too. Fifty fifteen ninety six. All right, let's go ahead and turn our light on. Sense. All right, so I could probably replenish the bread from the overstock we have. That's perfect. Six thirty. All right, so we have just a couple more hours. Sense. Exact change. Perfect. All right, so let's go and fill up the sugar. Just have pasta left in our overstock. look at licenses 550 is the next one Just a couple more hours. A few more sales and we should hit level 3. And I should be able to purchase the uh, next license. Like just one more sale, and I should be at uh, level three. Six 
I change? Seventeen fifty eight. Uh, fifty four cents. Man, we're busy today. I need at least one case of flour to order. case of flour and one cereal so let's set that up on the computer Cereal and flour. All right, so that's going to be the end of the first episode of Supermarket Simulator. So you guys can let me know what you think. Two hundred and fifty-one total profit. Twenty-six customers. All right, so. Again, thank you for the support of this channel. I hope you guys subscribe if you haven't joined already. And I will see you soon. And let me know what you think of this this new series that I'm starting. It's a lot calmer. Um, takes a lot less thought for me to play this than it does for uh, Power and Revolution. Which can kind of be draining that's why it takes me a while to do a different episode sometimes between work and coming home and trying to take care of a few things beforehand it, it could be a bit much so that's why I'm gonna try to uh, do a schedule for different days of the week maybe post something on the same day each week for let's say power and revolution maybe I pick a certain day I'll do a poll for that also but in the meantime thank you and see you soon